and he's carving out a piece of party history at Chocolate Fest. Now, the show that makes fun of celebrities until the cows come home. Deco Drive. Woo! We think Deco is one sweet show. And when we found out about another sweet show, we had to check this out. This weekend is a chef in town who's mixing food and people, and they are all good enough to eat. Boys and girls, the chocolate room. Come with me, and you'll be in a world of pure imagination. Move over, Willy Wonka. There's a new candy man on the scene. I'm a chocoholic. I mean, through and through. I eat chocolate every single day. Paul Joachim is a foodie and artist. Technically, he's a food artist. His medium? Chocolate. You can eat it, you can smell it. Um, I mean, you can see it, you can feel it. It's, it's everything that an art medium should be. Paul is in town for the Miami Fine Chocolate and Food Show this weekend at Pinecrest Gardens. Anyone that loves chocolate would really need to be here. And since Paul dabbles in all things sweet, we had to check him out before the show. For this event, I'm going to be sculpting LeBron James in celebration of uh, South Florida sports. Now, I'm going to be doing it live. It's going to be nine and a half feet tall. It's a uh, sculpture of LeBron James jumping in the air. Paul scoring a slam dunk baby with his LeBron James. Even the shoes are to scale. I looked up exactly how big a size 16 was, and it was 12 and a half inches. So there you go. From the cake and ganache on the inside to the modeling chocolate on the outside, Paul's masterpieces are totally edible. He even helped create a special chocolate that doesn't melt in his hands. And I've tested this chocolate up to 90 degrees, and it, it works amazing. Actually, as it gets hotter, it actually, the consistency improves. Speaking of getting hotter, we thought since he could make anything out of chocolate, how about making a bust of our very own Deco Shireen? Uh, sorry, fellas, the bust is just of her head. And like most of his sculptures, Paul made Shireen ready to eat. <laughs> There's actually decadent chocolate moist cake in Shireen's head. So what's the trick to getting Shireen's perfect bust? Victoria's Secret? How about Paul's secret? It's cake and ganache. It doesn't really get much better than that. So it's chocolate on chocolate. Paul's creations at the Fine Chocolate and Food Show at Pinecrest Gardens is BYOM. Bring your own milk. Check it out, here she is, the chocolate Shireen. Every guy's fantasy come true. A Shireen made out of chocolate, that means you can eat her. Hi, baby. <laughs> Not looking so fresh here. Let's, 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 let's freshen her up a little bit right there. Let's go, let's, there we go. Let's freshen that up. You know, I missed my calling. I should have been a plastic surgeon. Aw, oh, thanks, chef, and thanks, Shireen. Now I don't feel so lonely anymore. You know, it does kind of look like her the more that I yeah, kind of looks like it, right? A little bit. As a matter of fact, uh, I don't know, these feelings are coming over me. All, all these feelings that have been bottled up inside of me. Impulsively, I want to do something that I want to do with the real Shireen for years. <sighs> Come here, you baby. All right.